In mathematics, an algebra over a field often simply called an algebra is a vector space equipped with a bilinear product. Thus, an algebra is an algebraic structure, which consists of a set, together with operations of multiplication, addition, and scalar multiplication by elements of the underlying field, and satisfies the axioms implied by «vector space» and «bilinear». The multiplication operation in an algebra may or may not be associative, leading to the notions of associative algebras and non-associative algebras. Given an integer n, the ring of real square matrices of order n is an example of an associative algebra over the field of real numbers under matrix addition and matrix multiplication since matrix multiplication is associative. Three-dimensional Euclidean space with multiplication given by the vector cross product is an example of a non-associative algebra over the field of real numbers since the vector cross product is non-associative, satisfying the Jacobi identity instead. An algebra is unital or unitary if it has an identity element with respect to the multiplication. The ring of real square matrices of order n forms a unital algebra since the identity matrix of order n is the identity element with respect to matrix multiplication. It is an example of a unital associative algebra, a unital ring that is also a vector space. Many authors use the term algebra to mean associative algebra, or unital associative algebra, or in some subjects such as algebraic geometry, unital associative commutative algebra. Replacing the field of scalars by a commutative ring leads to the more general notion of an algebra over a ring. Algebras are not to be confused with vector spaces equipped with a bilinear form, like inner product spaces, as, for such a space, the result of a product is not in the space, but rather in the field of coefficients. Topic. Definition and motivation Topic. First example, the complex numbers Any complex number may be written a plus by, where a and b are real numbers and i is the imaginary unit. In other words, a complex number is represented by the vector a, b over the field of real numbers. So the complex numbers form a two-dimensional real vector space, where addition is given by a, b, plus c, d. Topic. A plus c, b plus d and scalar multiplication is given by c, a, b. C A, C B, where all of A, B, C and D are real numbers. We use the symbol to multiply two vectors together, which we use complex multiplication to define, A, B, C, D equals A C minus B D, add plus B C. The following statements are basic properties of the complex numbers. If X, Y, Z are complex numbers and A, B are real numbers, then x plus y z equals x z plus y z. In other words, multiplying a complex number by the sum of two other complex numbers, is the same as multiplying by each number in the sum, and then adding x by equals ab x y. This shows that complex multiplication is compatible with the scalar multiplication by the real numbers. This example fits into the following definition by taking the field K to be the real numbers, and the vector space A to be the complex numbers. Equals. <laughs> Topic. Definition. Equals. Let K be a field, and let A be a vector space over K equipped with an additional binary operation from A times A to A, denoted here by i.e. if X and Y are any two elements of A, XY is the product of X and Y, then A is an algebra over K if the following identities hold for all elements X, Y, and Z of A, and all elements often called scalars A and B of K. 
right distributivity x plus y z equals x z plus y z left distributivity x y plus z equals x y plus x z compatibility with scalars ax by equals ab x y these three axioms are another way of saying that the binary operation is bilinear an algebra over K is sometimes also called a K algebra, and K is called the base field of A. The binary operation is often referred to as multiplication in A. The convention adopted in this article is that multiplication of elements of an algebra is not necessarily associative, although some authors use the term algebra to refer to an associative algebra. Notice that when a binary operation on a vector space is commutative, as in the above example of the complex numbers, it is left distributive exactly when it is right distributive. But in general, for non-commutative operations such as the next example of the quaternions, they are not equivalent, and therefore require separate axioms. Topic. A motivating example, quaternions The real numbers may be viewed as a one-dimensional vector space with a compatible multiplication, and hence a one-dimensional algebra over itself. Likewise, as we saw above, the complex numbers form a two-dimensional vector space over the field of real numbers, and hence form a two-dimensional algebra over the reals. In both these examples, every non-zero vector has an inverse, making them both division algebras. Although there are no division algebras in three dimensions, in 1843, the quaternions were defined and provided the now famous four-dimensional example of an algebra over the real numbers, where one can not only multiply vectors, but also divide. Any quaternion may be written as A, B, C, D. Topic. A plus by plus Cj plus Dk. Unlike the complex numbers, the quaternions are an example of a non-commutative algebra, for instance, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. 0, 0, 0, 1, but 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0 equals 0, 0, 0, minus 1. The quaternions were soon followed by several other hypercomplex number systems, which were the early examples of algebras over a field. Topic. Another motivating example, the cross product. Previous examples are associative algebras. An example of a non associative algebra is a three dimensional vector space equipped with the cross product. This is a simple example of a class of non associative algebras, which is widely used in mathematics and physics, the Lie algebras. Topic. Basic concepts Topic. Algebra homomorphisms Given K algebras A and B, a K algebra homomorphism is a K linear map F, A, B such that F x y equals F x F y for all x, y in A. The space of all K algebra homomorphisms between A and B is frequently written as H O M K alg A B Display style math bf home underscore k text alg a b a k algebra isomorphism is a bijective k algebra homomorphism. For all practical purposes, isomorphic algebras differ only by notation. Topic: subalgebras and ideals. 
A subalgebra of an algebra over a field K is a linear subspace that has the property that the product of any two of its elements is again in the subspace. In other words, a subalgebra of an algebra is a subset of elements that is closed under addition, multiplication, and scalar multiplication. In symbols, we say that a subset L of a K algebra A is a subalgebra if for every x, y in L and c in K, we have that x y, x plus y, and c x are all in L. In the above example of the complex numbers viewed as a two-dimensional algebra over the real numbers, the one-dimensional real line is a subalgebra. A left ideal of a k-algebra is a linear subspace that has the property that any element of the subspace multiplied on the left by any element of the algebra produces an element of the subspace. In symbols, we say that a subset L of a k-algebra A is a left ideal if for every x and y in L, z in A and c in k, we have the following three statements. 1 x plus y is in L, L is closed under addition. 2 cx is in L, L is closed under scalar multiplication. 3 zx is in L, L is closed under left multiplication by arbitrary elements. If 3 were replaced with x, z is in L, then this would define a right ideal. A two sided ideal is a subset that is both a left and a right ideal. The term ideal on its own is usually taken to mean a two sided ideal. Of course when the algebra is commutative, then all of these notions of ideal are equivalent. Notice that conditions 1 and 2 together are equivalent to L being a linear subspace of A. It follows from condition 3 that every left or right ideal is a subalgebra. It is important to notice that this definition is different from the definition of an ideal of a ring, in that here we require the condition 2. Of course if the algebra is unital, then condition 3 implies condition 2. Topic: Extension of scalars. If we have a field extension F k, which is to say a bigger field F that contains k, then there is a natural way to construct an algebra over F from any algebra over k. It is the same construction one uses to make a vector space over a bigger field, namely the tensor product v F equals v k f display style v underscore f equals v o times underscore k f so if a is an algebra over k then a f display style a underscore f is an algebra over f topic Kinds of algebras and examples Algebras over fields come in many different types. These types are specified by insisting on some further axioms, such as commutativity or associativity of the multiplication operation, which are not required in the broad definition of an algebra. The theories corresponding to the different types of algebras are often very different. Topic. Unital algebra An algebra is unital or unitary if it has a unit or identity element I with X. Topic. X She for all X in the algebra Topic. Zero algebra An algebra is called zero algebra if u v equals zero for all u, v in the algebra, not to be confused with the algebra with one element. It is inherently non-unital except in the case of only one element, associative and commutative. 
one may define a unital zero algebra by taking the direct sum of modules of a field or more generally a ring k and a k vector space or module v and defining the product of every pair of elements of v to be zero that is if lambda mu element of k and u v element of v then lambda plus u mu plus v equals lm plus lambda v plus mu u if e1 ed as a basis of v the unital zero algebra is the quotient of the polynomial ring k e1 n by the ideal generated by the eiej for every pair i j an example of unital zero algebra is the algebra of dual numbers, the unital zero R algebra built from a one-dimensional real vector space. These unital zero algebras may be more generally useful, as they allow to translate any general property of the algebras to properties of vector spaces or modules. For example, the theory of Grobner bases was introduced by Bruno Buckberger for ideals in a polynomial ring R. Equals k x1 xn over a field. The construction of the unital zero algebra over a free R module allows extending this theory as a Grobner basis theory for sub-modules of a free module. This extension allows, for computing a Grobner basis of a submodule, to use, without any modification, any algorithm and any software for computing Grobner bases of ideals. Associative algebra the algebra of all n by n matrices over the field or commutative ring K here the multiplication is ordinary matrix multiplication. Group algebras, where a group serves as a basis of the vector space and algebra multiplication extends group multiplication. The commutative algebra K X of all polynomials over K see polynomial ring. Algebras of functions, such as the R algebra of all real valued continuous functions defined on the interval 0, 1, or the C algebra of all holomorphic functions defined on some fixed open set in the complex plane. These are also commutative. Incidence algebras are built on certain partially ordered sets. Algebras of linear operators, for example on a Hilbert space. Here the algebra multiplication is given by the composition of operators. These algebras also carry a topology, many of them are defined on an underlying Banach space, which turns them into Banach algebras. If an involution is given as well, we obtain B** algebras and C** algebras. These are studied in functional analysis. Topic. Non-associative algebra A non-associative algebra or distributive algebra over a field K is a k-vector space A equipped with a k-bilinear map A times A A display style A times A right arrow A The usage of non-associative here is meant to convey that associativity is not assumed, but it does not mean it is prohibited. That is, it means, not necessarily associative. Examples detailed in the main article include Octonians Lie algebras Jordan algebras Alternative algebras Flexible algebras Power associative algebras Topic. Algebras and rings The definition of an associative k-algebra with unit is also frequently given in an alternative way. In this case, an algebra over a field k is a ring A together with a ring homomorphism eta k z a display style eta colon k to z a 
where Z a is the center of A since A is a ring morphism, then one must have either that A is the zero ring, or that A is injective. This definition is equivalent to that above, with scalar multiplication k times a a display style k times a to a given by k a eta k a display style k a mapsto eta k a Given two such associative unital K algebras A and B, A unital K algebra morphism F, A B is a ring morphism that commutes with the scalar multiplication defined by eta, which one may write as F K A equals K F A display style F ka equals K F A for all k element of k display style k in k and a element of a display style a in a in other words, the following diagram commutes: k a to a down left arrow a to b down right arrow a f b display style begin matrix and n k and n end a to underscore a swero and end a to underscore b c arrow and o and n begin matrix f long right arrow end matrix and n b end matrix. Topic: Structure coefficients. For algebras over a field, the bilinear multiplication from A times A to A is completely determined by the multiplication of basis elements of A. Conversely, once a basis for A has been chosen, the products of basis elements can be set arbitrarily, and then extended in a unique way to a bilinear operator on A, i.e., so the resulting multiplication satisfies the algebra laws. Thus, given the field K, any finite dimensional algebra can be specified up to isomorphism by giving its dimension, say n, and specifying n3 structure coefficients c, j, k, which are scalars. These structure coefficients determine the multiplication in A via the following rule: e i e j equals k equals 1 n c i j k e k Display style math bf e underscore i math bf e underscore j equals sum underscore k equals one carrot n c underscore i j k math bf e underscore k where E1 in form a basis of A. Note however that several different sets of structure coefficients can give rise to isomorphic algebras. In mathematical physics, the structure coefficients are generally written with upper and lower indices, so as to distinguish their transformation properties under coordinate transformations. Specifically, lower indices are covariant indices, and transform via pullbacks, while upper indices are contravariant, transforming under pushforwards. Thus, the structure coefficients are often written c, j, k, and their defining rule is written using the Einstein notation as e i e j equals c, j, k, e, k. If you apply this to vectors written in index notation, then this becomes x y k equals c j k x i y j if k is only a commutative ring and not a field then the same process works if a is a free module over k if it isn't then the multiplication is still completely determined by its action on a set that spans a however the structure constants can't be specified arbitrarily in this case and knowing only the structure constants does not specify the algebra up to isomorphism equals topic 
Classification of low-dimensional algebras equals two-dimensional, three-dimensional and four-dimensional unital associative algebras over the field of complex numbers were completely classified up to isomorphism by Eduard study. There exist two two-dimensional algebras. Each algebra consists of linear combinations with complex coefficients of two basis elements, one the identity element and a. According to the definition of an identity element, one one equals one one a equals a a one equals a display style text style one c d o t one equals one quad one c d o t a equals a quad a c d o t one equals a it remains to specify a a equals one display style text style a equals one for the first algebra a a equals zero display style text style a equals zero for the second algebra there exist five three-dimensional algebras. Each algebra consists of linear combinations of three basis elements, one the identity element, a and b. Taking into account the definition of an identity element, it is sufficient to specify a a equals a b b equals b a b equals b a equals 0 display style text style a equals a quad b b equals b quad ab equals ba equals 0 for the first algebra a a equals a b b equals zero A B equals B A equals zero Display style text style A equals a quad B B equals zero quad ab equals ba equals zero for the second algebra A A equals B B B equals zero A B equals B A equals zero Display style text style A equals B quad B B equals zero quad ab equals ba equals zero for the third algebra A a equals one B B equals zero A B equals minus B A equals B display style texts Tile A equals one, quad B B equals zero, quad ab equals ba equals b. For the fourth algebra, A A equals zero, B B equals zero, A B equals B A equals zero display style text style a equals zero quad b b equals zero quad ab equals ba equals zero for the fifth algebra the fourth algebra is non-commutative others are commutative topic generalization algebra over a ring 
In some areas of mathematics, such as commutative algebra, it is common to consider the more general concept of an algebra over a ring, where a commutative unital ring R replaces the field K. The only part of the definition that changes is that A is assumed to be an R module instead of a vector space over K. Topic: <laughs> Associative algebras over rings. A ring A is always an associative algebra over its center, and over the integers. A classical example of an algebra over its center, is the split Biquaternion algebra, which is isomorphic to H times H the direct product of two quaternion algebras. The center of that ring is R times R display style math B R times math B R and hence it has the structure of an algebra over its center which is not a field note that the split biquaternion algebra is also naturally an eight-dimensional R display style math B R algebra in commutative algebra, if A is a commutative ring, then any unital ring homomorphism R O display style R to A defines an R module structure on A, and this is what is known as the R algebra structure. So a ring comes with a natural Z display style math B Z module structure since one can take the unique homomorphism z a display style math b z to a on the other hand not all rings can be given the structure of an algebra over a field for example the integers see the field with one element for an attempt to give to every ring a structure that behaves like an algebra over a field Topic. See also Clifford algebra Differential algebra Geometric algebra Max plus algebra Zariski's lemma Mutation algebra Operator algebra Algebra over an operate Notes <laughs>